In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an action sheet for iOS 8 in Xcode 6 with Swift. To get started, let's create a single view application. Okay, so first thing first, in the main storyboard, I'm just going to add a button to the screen. This button is going to trigger our action sheet. Let's drag it to the middle of the screen and control drag and center it horizontally so it's in the middle with auto layout. So now that we have this button, we're going to open the assistant editor and control drag a link for the action of clicking our button into the code. We're going to call this button press. And in here is where we're going to create our action sheet. An action sheet is created in a variable. So we want to create there action sheet of the type UI action sheet. Once we have that variable declared, we're going to go action we're going to action sheet again equals. We're going to go UI action sheet and open a bracket. The first thing we want to create in our action sheet declaration is a title. So we go title, um, the two dot things, and in here we want to give our action sheet a title. So we're going to call this title. Next, we want to set the delegate. Double dot self, because we're making this view controller class, or the class that all, all this is in, the delegate for this action sheet. Next we're going to make the title for the cancel button. This is the button that makes the action sheet disappear. So we want to go cancel button title and I'm just going to call it cancel. So the final two variables that we're going to create are a destructive button title and an other button title variable. So first let me explain what the difference between them two, the two are. A destructive button title is used to make something like a delete or a report button. In the action sheet it comes up as red and you can only make one of them. Later on when I talk about indexes, the destructive button always has the index of zero. Any other buttons you want to create are other button titles. And basically this can be anything else. These other buttons have an index starting at one and going up from there. That's always the case. You probably don't understand what I mean for some of that stuff now. You'll see what I mean or I'll explain it in more detail. So first let's make a destructive button title. And just so we know the difference we're going to call this destroy. And then I'm going to create another button title. And again so we can instantly see the difference I'm going to call this other. So that's what we need to do there. So the next thing we need to do is, as you can see, there's an error here. So if we click on this area, error, we see that this view controller, which we're referring to by the self, does not, not conform to the protocol UI action view action sheet delegate. So just to fix that, we're going to go up here, we're going to call this add, we're going to add to this UI action sheet delegate. And that error should disappear now. So everything's set up and we just have to cast that action sheet to the screen. So we go action sheet dot show in view and for the view we want this view controller so we go self dot view. Now that we've done that we can just run the app. As you can see we have our title that we typed in, our destroy button which is of course red and our other button which is Blue. Both these buttons do the same thing when you press them. And as you saw, that's nothing right now. So in order to do something when one of those buttons is pressed, we have to pick up that one of those buttons was pressed in our view controller. Now to pick that up, we need to create a new function. So func, a new function called sh action sheet. Um, and that one, clicked button at index. What this is going to do is it's going to give us the index of the button pressed. 
So if you don't understand that what that means, it basically means that that destructive button is button number zero, and that's button number one. And any other other title buttons below that are one or above. So last thing we need to do is we need to go print line just so we can see that index. And we want to go button index. So we have our app, press our button, we press first button. And our first button comes up as zero down here in the console. And our second other button title comes up as two because this is the second in line in our action sheet. So it comes up as two. When you're building an actual app, you should uh, of course check the order that yours come up in. Now, what do you do from here, you're probably asking. Well, the easiest way to run different pieces of code depending on that index is to use an if-else statement. So basically, if it equals zero, run whatever you do want to do to just delete the thing you're doing this on. And if it comes up as, uh, well, two in this case, do whatever you want to do for that action. 